Hi everyone, this is June Maog, a math and science high school teacher from the Philippines. For this video entitled Filtered It, I will be walking you through how to very quickly create filters uh, from within your Gmail. So this is going to be the flow of the video. First, I'm going to be uh, telling you what's the purpose of creating Gmail filters. And uh, we will dive into how do we actually create a filter. And then uh, we will have a review of all the available filter options. And uh, sometimes you also call it filter rules. So what is a Gmail filter? It's actually, um, you know, instead, of, instead of discussing what it is, let me discuss its purpose or its uses. It's actually a tool or a feature from within Gmail that lets you better manage your incoming emails. And uh, so that you can uh, actually uh, assign where you want them to go. And uh, those emails would be automatically starred, labeled with a specific label, and so much more. So how do we create a filter? So um, just uh, go to your Gmail, of course, and then uh, in the mini Omnibox above, there's an icon that you can click. And uh, when you hover your mouse, it shows show search options. Click on that and then just fill in um, all of the required information. Actually, you just need to fill in the from uh, portion with the relevant email address that you want to very quickly create a filter. And then three, third would be to click the create filter button at the bottom and then choose the filter use that you want to apply to that particular email. Let me exit from my presentation and go to Gmail. So this is my uh, Gmail. So once again, we said that, you know, I, I need to go to Gmail and then click at the very top. There's an icon that you need to look for. And this is that icon. And uh, this is the mini omnibus that I was... Uh, talking about so you just uh, click on the show search options icon and then here this field appears or this interface appears and then just fill in the from field so um let me just type in my other email and then that's actually all there is that you need to type in the email address and if you want to um also type in other things in here you, you can do that but those are mostly for the search function so we're, we are here to create a filter. So just fill in the from um, portion, then click on the create filter button at the bottom. And then here are the available filter options or filter rules. So you can actually choose more than one filter option. And uh, I want to start it automatically and apply the label. And then I can uh, just click on the drop down. You notice I don't have any labels, so I can just uh, very quickly create a new label from here. And can just type in personal account. Also click on this uh, box if you want that particular label to nest under um, a major uh, label. You can also do that, but we'll just be, uh, we'll, we'll keep things simple here and just choose a label and uh, click on create. There you go. Then I just click on the create filter button. And uh, you may not notice what happened at first, but you will see that now, once you have a new email from that particular email that you apply the filter to, that email will automatically be starred and labeled. So, all right, so I just went into my other account, my personal account, and sent an email to this account that I'm using. And you can see right away that the filter rules that I have chosen that uh, should be applied to this particular email are already put in place. So this one is uh, already starred and uh, there, it, the personal account label is automatically applied as well. Okay, so it's very easy to create filters um, from within your Gmail, but just take note that those filters will apply to future emails, so incoming emails. Let's now review again the available filter options. I don't think um, you'd want to use all of these filter options for the particular email, but I'm very sure that you will find one filter option that you can use, and that, that, would, be, that would enable you to better manage your incoming emails. And uh, that's it for me for this video. I hope you learned something new. And uh, for more content like this, you can just uh, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, June's Circle. Thank you. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something new. If you have questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment below. Bye!